okay let's start with the the topic good morning all so we are going to start with the um, session 2 of uh, the topic the chapter that we were doing web applications section 2 is about networking and network applications so let's start with it i'll just come to the screen straight away okay so you people can see the screen now this is session 2 of the unit that we were doing uh, networking fundamentals and in this unit we'll try to learn what all important uh, terms or <clears throat> things are there in the networking right uh, whenever we form a network what are the things which we we should know um starting with the thing the very first thing which you know is what is a computer network a computer network is the collection of computers or other devices hardware components which are interconnected by some communication channel so basically network is group of different computers as well as hardware components hardware components includes your uh, certain devices that are used to are uh, used in a network right and they all are connected with each other with the help of certain channel now the channel can be a cable or a satellite or uh, sometimes some wireless devices so channel bahut sare hain fine so then is why do we use this network why do we do this why do we form such network with this uh, it allows the sharing of resources as well as information so the important thing is that we can share the resources we can share the information resources means to say like if we have one printer and i want to share that same printer with 25 computers installed in a lab so all 25 can use that single printer if in case we have a network there in the lab similarly certain information can also be shared we can also share the internet connections that we have one single connection of internet from an isp can be shared by all the devices attached in the network right uh, the best example uh, about a network is you can as you see in the home like hum ghar pe humne wifi wagaira lagaya hota hai so with the one single wifi uh, device we can connect multiple phones we can connect laptops ipads and tabs and all so ek hi device se bahut sare cheeze connect kar rahe hain so that is a network basically okay right and we are sharing the uh, resources with the help of that right now the next thing is uh, first of all we should know that networks have two kind of architectures architectures means their design first design is peer to peer architecture it is also called as p2p p2p architecture mein kya hota hai ki network in which all computers are uh, have an equal status equal status means where every computer within the network has the same capability they are of same strength their uh, internal uh, configurations are same right generally in such network each terminal has equal equally competent cpu so sabke cpu ek level pe hote hain ek ke jaise hote hain sabki jo uh, competency level hai jo working level hai same hoga right so that is peer to peer network right another architecture is client server architecture now in uh, client server ar architecture uh, certain computers have special dedicated task kuch aise computer hote hain jinko special dedicated task diye jate hain right like providing services to other computers right so aisa network ko hum we call this as client server architecture 
and in such networks the computer which provides services are called as server and the computers which uses the services are called as clients to jo computer services provide kar raha hai usko hum server bolte hain aur jo computer ya device un services ko use kar raha hai that is called as a client fine so this is client server architecture coming to next thing we have um, uh there are two major types of networks local area network wide area network one more is there as we all know metropolitan area network so uh ye tino kya hai local area network is uh the one which connects computers and devices in a limited geographical area limited geographical area matlab किसी स्कूल में किसी होम में या एक स्मॉल लेबोरेटरी में या किसी ऑफिस बिल्डिंग के अंदर राइट या क्लोजली पोजीशन ग्रुप ऑफ बिल्डिंग्स सम बिल्डिंग्स आर 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 वेरी क्लोज टू अदर सच काइंड ऑफ नेटवर्क व्हिच लाइज विद इन द रेंज ऑफ वन किलोमीटर मैक्सिमम रेंज ऑफ ए लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क इज वन किलोमीटर फाइन सो a local area network covers 1 km area and we can connect computers and devices with each other with the help of certain uh, cables or wireless forms now in local area networks we generally prefer uh, cables because area kam hota hai aur cables jo hai wo cost effective hoti hain they are not so costly fine so in local area networks um it offers very high speed uh, transmission because the distance is less so the data travels in quite a high speed right and it is used to connect computers as well as other peripherals like uh, as i told you that uh, in one lab we can share one printer to all the computers so aise hi bahut sare peripherals ko peripherals means devices बहुत सारे डिवाइसेस को हम कनेक्ट कर सकते हैं इस छोटे लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क के अंदर राइट सेकंड कैटेगरी इज वाइड एरिया नेटवर्क नो वाइड एरिया नेटवर्क कवर्स द लार्जर और द ब्रॉडर एरिया राइट द एरिया कैन बी रीजनल इट कैन बी मेट्रोपॉलिटन इट कैन बी अ नेशन आल्सो, राइट and internet is one of the most popular wide area network which covers the entire world theek okay? hai and uh, in such kind of networks various type of uh, communication channels are used uh, somewhere it is wired somewhere it is wireless sometimes satellite is used sometimes some other sources of uh, transmission channels are used right and it provides us uh, it help us to um, use the things based on business applications or even government services are provided using wide area networks then uh, non profit organizations they can form a wide area network across the countries and then things can be shared uh, individual consumers can also be attached artists can be attached entertainers can be there the many more so lot of people are involved in one single big network which is wide area network now the third category which is not mentioned here is your metropolitan area network and it covers the city area right it covers city area and uh, the maximum limit is 100 kilometers fine so wide area metropolitan area network com- com- covers the city or one or two cities fine so the best example of metropolitan area network is the cable tv network jo hamare ghar mein cable tv network hai wo iska ek best example hai because cable cable tv uh, may we use coaxial cables a better cable which connects various devices within one city so uska that is a metropolitan area network fine coming to the next thing we have internet so internet is a global system of interconnected computer networks basically internet is network of networks right so it's a worldwide network where 
many smaller networks are connected with each other to form one big network theek hai so internet is interconnected networks where many types of networks uh, smaller bigger right private public or academic business government networks so different categories of networks they are all combined together to form one big network right which that big network is called as internet right and it has certain services which help us to um access various services over internet fine now uh, what all things we uh, use here what all things we do here we all know that internet is basically the repository where any kind of information is we can search right the categories are many we can use internet in business or financial applications we can use it as in encyclopedia where we can search any kind of information that you want to right we can also go with the social networking where you can connect your friend friends families and relatives we can do chatting we can do emailing we can do uh, video conferencing so a lot of uh, information lot of uh, uh, services are available on internet which can be used by anybody and there is no uh, limit to it then the next term is world wide web now what is this term world wide web it is also called as www or w3 and commonly we call it as web now basically it is a system of interlinked hypertext documents interlinked hypertext document now what are these hypertext documents hypertext documents are basically the uh, web documents that you see on a web browser jitni websites hain har website mein you find number of pages these pages are called as web pages right these websites they contain uh many kind of links in it every page has a number of links in it links matlab ki jahan pe aap click karke kisi dusre page pe jump karte ho to aise text ko hum hyper text bolte hain where uh, when you click on any of the text on the screen that uh, goes to or send takes you to another page right so aise bahut sare documents ke link ko when you link them each, with each other is called as world wide web right and we all know that it is only accessed with the help of internet and we can view web pages and all web pages they contain different kind of data it can have text also it can have images videos multimedia application right a uh, lot of things audio files are also there and then we can navigate via hyperlinks we can click on the links and we can jump to any other page तो ये सारी सर्विसेज आपको एक एक सिंगल पेज पे मिलती हैं और ये सारा का सारा जो पेज का लिंकअप है ऐसे बहुत सारे डॉक्यूमेंट्स को जब हम आपस में लिंक करते हैं तो दैट फॉर्म्स अ वर्ल्ड वाइड वेब राइट नो इन ऑन इंटरनेट वी यूज टू काइंड्स ऑफ सर्विसेज एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी जस्ट कवर्ड क्लाइंट सर्वर होता है क्लाइंट सर्वर में क्या है कि एक वेब सर्वर है और एक क्लाइंट है वेब सर्वर इज द वन हु गिव्स दिस सर्विस एंड वेब क्लाइंट इज द वन इज द कंप्यूटर व्हिच रिसीव्स दिस सर्विसेज तो सेम वे ऑल वेब सर्वर्स दे आर बेसिकली अ प्लेस वेयर ऑल टाइप ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन इज स्टोर्ड राइट एंड वी नो दैट इंफॉर्मेशन इज ऑलवेज स्टोर्ड इन फॉर्म ऑफ वेब पेजेस देयर राइट so how do we access these information we need a software called as web browser right for example firefox is there right these are the softwares installed in the local machine client machines right so in these softwares we can access different kind of web pages and how do we access it the moment we type the name of a website in the address bar of a web browser firefox mein jahan pe upar address bar mein aap kisi website ka naam type karte ho so 
immediately your web browser works as a client and it sends a request to uh, that particular server which you have opened website open ki hai. and then that message keeps on traveling on internet and it finally reaches the server where that actual website like if you type google.com now the message from your web browser your computer will go uh, to the server where the files of the google.coms are stored फिर वो सर्वर जो है वहां से आपको रिप्लाई करेगा और देन दो फाइल आर सेंड बैक टू योर कंप्यूटर योर लोकल कंप्यूटर एंड देन यू कैन सी दो फाइल्स ऑन योर वेब ब्राउजर तो ये इंटरेक्शन होता है ऐसे कि ब्राउजर आपका क्लाइंट की तरह वर्क करेगा और जो सर्वर है वो आपकी रिक्वेस्ट को वेब ब्राउजर की रिक्वेस्ट को प्रोसेस करके डेटा ट्रांसफर करता है right so these browsers are basically interfaces between users and world wide web so it works as a link between user and world wide web so whenever a user want to access some information it has to go to a web browser it has to type the user has to type a um, address or the location or the name of the website on the browser and then that request is sent to the server and the server which is part of world wide web sends the data back to the client machine right it comes on the browser right aur ye yaad rakhne wali cheez hai ki web browser web server kya hai web server is the computer that store the web websites jahan pe websites ka data store hota hai right Okay, now we have uh, some of the advantages associated with the networking. Networking से फायदे क्या क्या मिलते हैं हमें What are the things that what are the advantages that we can gain from there? सबसे पहली चीज हमने अभी की थी data sharing. So data can be shared, right? Most important use is to allow the sharing of data. So we can share lot of data. We can share types of data, different types of data. टेक्स्ट फाइल्स होगी स्प्रेड शीट हो गई डॉक्यूमेंट हो गए प्रेजेंटेशन हो गया ऑडियो वीडियो फाइल्स हो गई सो ऑल सच टाइप्स ऑफ डेटा कैन बी शेयर फ्रॉम वन कंप्यूटर टू अनदर कंप्यूटर विद इन नेटवर्क सो इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यूज ऑफ नेटवर्किंग दूसरा नेटवर्किंग का यूज है हार्डवेयर शेयरिंग का जैसे हमने अभी बात की थी कि हार्डवेयर कंपोनेंट्स लाइक प्रिंटर्स एंड स्कैनर्स कैन बी शेयर For example, instead of purchasing ten printers for each user, one printer can be purchased and shared among multiple users. So one printer can be purchased and that can be shared by many computers if we have a network there. So इससे क्या फायदा होता है? It saves the cost. Then we can also access. Uh, we can also share the internet access. ये भी हमने example अभी study किया था कि Um, we can purchase a single internet connection and share it among other computers in a network instead of purchasing multiple internet connections so agar aapko multi uh, har computer ko internet access lena hai to networking karke hum log internet uh, connections ko share kar sakte hain right and this is commonly done in uh, internet cafes schools colleges companies etc then uh, apart from all this network also provides us various network based applications so those application we can also use if we have a network for example web browsers are there email clients are there from where we can send emails chat applications are there from where we can do chatting chatting is basically instant uh, sending instant messages from one system to another right so it is online uh, chatting online messaging then we can also go with audio video calling so these are some of the uh, network based applications which can which we can access when we have a network so ye to ho gaye sare networking ke fayde next is uh, getting access to the internet internet ko access kaise karte hain hum 
internet connections are provided by internet service providers isps internet service provider ek organization hoti hai which provides you the access to the internet via a dial up dial up is a modem or a direct line which is a hard wired uh, wire line or some wireless connection so isp ek organization hai jo aapko इन सारी सर्विसेज के थ्रू इंटरनेट का एक्सेस देती है और इंटरनेट एक्सेस के अलग अलग मीडियम हैं जिसकी डायलप कनेक्शन भी होते हैं जो मॉडर्म से कनेक्ट होंगे फिर हमारे पास डी एस एल लाइन्स होती हैं जो हार्ड लाइन है जिनमें डेटा जो है डिजिटल फॉर्म में डायरेक्टली ट्रेवल कर सकता है दे फास्टर देन दिस डायलप एंड वी ऑल्सो हैव वायरलेस कनेक्शन वेयर लाइक वाई फाई एंड ऑल वेयर नो वायर इज यू साइड वायरलेस फॉर्म सो ये आई एस पीज हो गई आई एस पीज की एग्जाम्पल यू कैन सी हेयर बी एस एन एल एज द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बी एस एन एल भारत संचार निगम लिमिटेड देन ऑल द मोबाइल कंपनीज दैट वी आर एक्सेसिंग वो सब उसी का पार्ट है एयरटेल वोडाफोन टाटा जियो एंड ऑल दीज ऑल बेसिकली आई एस पीज विच के पास इंटरनेट कनेक्शन राइट uh now we uh, home users the people who are using internet at home they can access these type of services dsl cable modem dial up broadband wireless ymax or 3g and for large business organizations we have dsl high speed and isdn lines ye connections hain ye alag alag tarah ke connectivity options hain which we can use for um getting the internet access fine uh inke bare mein we'll get uh, detail study afterwards again ki puri detail hai alag alag karke we'll cover up that also uh that is the next is modem now modem kya hai and why it is required since uh, agar hum ghar ke uh, iski baat kare internet services ki ghar pe agar maan lo i have i am using a wifi connection so let's say i'm using wifi connection of uh, bsnl let's say so i'll have to install one modem in my place why modem is required because see when uh, computer sends a signal computer sends a data the computer data is always in digital form right and uh, digital form we know that it's always in 0101 codes codes with the combination of zeros and ones and this digital signals they cannot travel through your analog form of uh, medium like telephone wire telephone wires mein se digital signals nahi ja sakte to hame ek device chahiye jo hamare digital signals ko analog form mein convert kar de so that they can travel the telephone wires theek hai so this device is the modem the modem converts all your digital computer signals into a form which is generally analog signals so that it can travel over telephone lines right and uh, vice versa also ke jo a message uh, modem ke paas aata hai it comes as a analog form fir wo wapas usko digital form mein convert karta hai so that it can you can access that signal on your system right so ye jo process hai converting digital signals into analog is called as modulation ठीक है और जो उल्टा है वापस रिवर्स ऑफ इट एनालॉग सिग्नल्स बैक इनटू डिजिटल सिग्नल्स इट इज कॉल्ड एज डी मॉड्यूलेशन तो ये मॉड्यूलेशन डी मॉड्यूलेशन से ही मॉडर्म वर्ड बना है एम ओ फ्रॉम मॉड्यूलेटर एंड डी डी एम फ्रॉम डी मॉड्यूलेटर मॉडर्म वर्ड इज डिराइव फ्रॉम दिस फाइन हेयर वी कम विद टाइप्स दैट वी हैव जस्ट गॉन थ्रू so these are all different technologies dial up connection is always wired connection where wires are used dsl is also wired cable internet access is also wired 3g is wireless ymax is wireless and wifi is wired so in ke bare mein padhte hain dial up internet access is a form of access that uses the facility of pstn public switch telephone network राइट right. ये नेटवर्क uh, है जिसमें टेलीफोन वायर्स का यूज होता है फॉर ट्रांसमिटिंग डेटा एंड वी नीड अ मॉडर्म डिवाइस हेयर अगेन फॉर 
connecting uh, your device your computers with the internet services right so we have to establish a connection to an internet service provider like isp ke sath hame connection establish karna padega which is generally done with the help of telephone wire so we need a modem for it right so users dial a particular number provided by the is isp and gain access to internet so dial up naam se pata lagta hai user jo hai jab whenever we connect ourselves uh, our computer to internet using a dial up connection that time um, your particular number there is a number given uh, to your uh, there is account number given to you basically that account number uh, is used for connectivity with isp and so your isp internet service providers and then internet uh, access is given to you so we have number dial karna padta hai fir hum internet access use kar sakte hain the c dial up connections are quite slow right uh, and uh, <clears throat> nowadays in place of dial up connection we are using dsl lines so dsl lines are better than uh, uh, dial up because wo thode slow hai kyunki usme modem uh, jo hai wo conversion ka zyada use hai har data ko wo convert karna padta hai analog form mein so then it is transmitted so it's a uh, little lengthy process now in digital subscribe lines dsls it provides internet access by transmitting digital data now here we don't we need to convert it right so uh, although we don't need to convert it but still we need a modem so that it can be directed to a right place right so ye yahan pe data jo hai digitally travel hota hai over wire right dsl services is delivered along with wired telephone services on some same uh, telephone line us pe hum telephone karte hain wohi same telephone cables use hoti hain and dss also filters and removes the high frequency interference so this is very important over here that dsl removes the high frequency interference interference means kisi tarah ka rukawat so kisi bhi tarah ki high frequency frequency interference aati hai to wo dsl usko filter karta hai isko remove karta hai so that your data can travel easily theek hai so so in dsl lines telephone use as well as data transmission both can work simultaneously ki aapka telephone connection bhi chalta rahega telephone calls bhi chalenge aur data transmission bhi sath sath chalega dono cheeze ek sath chalti hain so that is why dsl is better in case of dial ups we can use only one service at one time ya to telephone pe aap call kar lo ya usko use kar lo internet services ke liye so here both the things are parallelly working right for using this uh, services we need a dsl modem right and we also need to subscribe the plan from the isp company mai plan lena padta hai next category is about cable internet access cable internet access is the form of broadband internet access so it's a broadband service broadband service wo hoti hai jahan pe we are available with more bandwidth of data where more amount of data can be sent at one time theek hai and it uses cable television infrastructure aapne suna hoga jaise hamara wo fast way hai so fast way also provides fast way internet service and wo internet service mein kya karte hain ek modem ya ek device ko dsl device ko aapke ghar pe install karte hain so jis cable ke through hum uh, aap uh, cable ki services le rahe ho cable ke channels access kar rahe ho uchi cable ke through internet access bhi available ho jata hai ठीक है इसीलिए इसका नाम भी केबल इंटरनेट एक्सेस का ठीक है सो इट इज यूज बाय केबल टेलीविजन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इट यूजेस द केबल टेलीविजन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर राइट इट प्रोवाइड्स थ्रू एग्जिस्टिंग केबल टीवी नेटवर्क एंड दिस इज सिमिलर टू डीएसएल दैट इज प्रोवाइडेड ओवर एग्जिस्टिंग टेलीफोन लाइन सो डीएसएल आल्सो यूजेस द टेलीफोन लाइन जो पहले से बनी है और केबल एक्सेस भी वो केबल टीवी नेटवर्क को यूज करता है जो ऑलरेडी आपके पास uh available hai theek hai so this is also one way of accessing so this is also high speed theek hai cable internet access is also high speed connection then is 3g 3g we all know it's a set of standard used for mobile phones right 
and uh, mobile telecommunications telecommunication services and networks we can uh, access high speed downlink packet access ye ek protocol ka naam hai jo 3g service ko enable karta hai aur is protocol ki wajah se it allows the higher higher data transfer speeds and capacity so we uh, can access higher uh, speed of transfer of transferring of data and the capacity of transmitting is also higher as compared to other things so 3g jo hai wo 2g se isliye better hai because uske paas ye protocol hai right and it is available on mobile phones and uh, you can subscribe to connectivity from the isp again aapko isp company se subscription lena padega connection lena padega theek hai jaise hum log recharge wagaira karate hain mobile phones pe wo ek tarah ka connection establish karna hi hai fine so next thing is ymax ymax is worldwide interoperability of microwave access now it is a wireless communication standard designed to provide mobile broadband connectivity mobile broadband connectivity matlab aisi connectivity jahan pe jo device mobile hai mobile matlab jo move kar sakte hain jaise hand aapke mobile phones ho gaye ya pdas ho gaye ya laptops ho gaye to within one city or one country or one region mobile devices can be connected with each other just like 3g the only difference is that it uses microwave access so microwaves <coughs> are a kind of um, medium which uses which can travel longer distances as compared to other uh, transmission medium jitne bhi baki wireless mediums hain sabse zyada longer distances jo hai wo microwave jo hai travel karti hai microwave is wireless form hai uh, data transmit karne ki theek hai isliye wo cities or countries tak ko connect kar sakte hain by mac ke sath ठीक है, लॉन्ग रेंज सिस्टम है विच कवरिंग मेनी किलोमीटर एंड इट यूजेस डीएसएल और केबल एक्सेस इट इज यूज वेयर दिस दीज सर्विसेज आर नॉट अवेलेबल वेयर डीएसएल और केबल एक्सेस इज नॉट अवेलेबल तो जहां पे डीएसएल केबल नेटवर्क वगैरह अवेलेबल नहीं है और इनको लेआउट करना केबल्स लगाना मुश्किल है जैसे रिमोट एरियाज में तो दे आर वी प्रेफर वाई मैक्स सेटिंग राइट then uh, lastly we have wifi wifi we all know it's a popular te technology which uh, help us to connect computers and mobile phones right <clears throat> wireless form of network is formed and high speed internet connection is available we can uh, connect personal computers smartphones video gaming consoles etc to form a network which help us to access internet वाया वायरलेस एक्सेस पॉइंट वैप हम उसको बोलते हैं जिस डिवाइस के थ्रू हम वाई फाई की सर्विसेज लेते हैं राइट एंड वाई फाई इज अगेन यूज वेयर वी के नॉट ले द केबल्स जैसे पुरानी बिल्डिंग्स हैं आउटडोर एरियाज हैं जहाँ पे केबल्स लगाना मुश्किल है वहाँ पे हम वाई फाई की सर्विसेज को एक्सेस कर सकते हैं राइट it is used in homes it is used in offices hotels colleges schools campus so right so we all know that shopping malls and all the uh, coffee shops they provide free wi fi wi fi services for the customers so ye ek tarah ki service hai jo bahut popular hai right so uh, we'll end up here now so that's all for today so Uh, the next we'll cover up at the later end. मैं यहाँ पे